Hi everyone. How are you guys? I hope you are all good. Unfortunately, I can't share the same level of hope for infamous Russian air defense systems S-300, S-400 and maybe S-500. As some wise, mostly old people said that nature has an antidote to anything and the above sentence holds solid ground even in military technology. I am aware that most of you are in love with fresh Russian anti-air hardware, no surprise in that, whether you like Russians or not, the latest creations of the Russian weapons industry are mind-blowing and may actually do the job and I am pointing on the do the job part because in the past, it was 50-50, maybe less. Things change though and Russian anti-air superiority may be soon revoked. America never sleeps, may look like sleeping but if you look closely, there is always one eye open. Okay, so what is the new toy from Never Sleeping Giant? Behold the advanced anti-radiation guided missile extended range. AARGMER in short. It is a child of long-lasting cooperation between the Navy and Air Force and its main carriers will be F-35 in A and C variants and super fancy latest generation stealth bomber B-21 Raider. The B-52 and B-1 may join the club in the future but nothing is written in stone in this matter. The FA-18EF Super Hornet fighter bombers and EA-18 Growler electronic warfare aircraft are on the list too. For the sake of your time I will refer to this system as AGM-88G. Although it is not yet fully operational, it is undergoing final trials and it should join the ranks of US military in late 2019 or early 2020. What is so special about this hardware? It is a straight-line successor to AARGM which was a successor to SRAM. Which was a very successful way to blast through Soviet air defenses starting from early 1970s to its deactivation in mid-1990s. The main role of SRAM missiles was to blow a hole in Russian anti-air umbrella and let the bombers attack their primary targets unchallenged. Things changed in 1982 when AGM-86B nuclear-tipped variant of the air-launched cruise missile arrived allowing B-52s and B-1s to launch far from enemy's air defenses reach. It was the end for SRAM and SRAM-2 missiles and since there was nothing out there to challenge US bombers there was no need to come out with anything better than AGM-88E. Until now. The honeymoon for US bombers ended with S-300 and the last coffin nail came in the form of S-400 and A-135. The A-135 system is a real deal, just take a look at this footage from the latest test launch in Russia. Not to mention a plethora of latest generation long-range air-to-air interceptor missiles. With above-mentioned systems coming to life, the time came to team up and move back to drawing boards in search of a new air defenses busting missile. Currently, the US Navy and Northrop Grumman are making steady progress on the development of a new high-speed missile to suppress and destroy enemy radars and other air defense hardware. Recent changes to the weapon's design include a new compact warhead seated inside a modular payload space, a concept that could open up new roles for the missile in the future, including maritime strike. The Air Force itself is already looking to turn the weapon into a precision strike tool for blowing sensitive targets on land and sea. High-tech missile was branded AGM-80AG in 2018. This missile has multi-mode guidance capability that includes a GPS-assisted inertial navigation system and a millimeter wave radar seeker. This allows the missiles to hit targets that have stopped emitting radio signals, or may never have been emitting in the first place, or simply hit a specific location. The missile also has a two-way data link so the launching aircraft, or another source, can feed it new target information in flight. This multi-mode guidance makes 88G more precise and means it has the ability to find and hit its target even if the crew tries to hide by shutting off their equipment or if the system is mobile and makes a run for cover. According to weapons developers, this gives the AARGMER a secondary time-sensitive strike capability against mobile, time-sensitive and hard to track targets even if they are not emitting a signal of some sort. The possible range is between 96 and 120 miles. 
The AAR GMER's improved rocket motor and streamlined design will also make it faster than the AGM 8080, which reportedly flies at more than twice the speed of sound during a final target approach. The specific design makes the weapon more maneuverable and therefore less likely to be susceptible to anti-missile interceptors and short-range air defenses. Moving the control section to the rear of a missile is an established way to enhance its maneuverability. In addition, it will have a thermal sleeve to further limit the enemy's IR ability to detect and target the missile, but there is nothing solid yet about improved resistance to electronic warfare systems. In theory, this weapon has the ability to silence any currently available SAM system, especially Chinese coastal air defense systems. The appearance of AGM 80 AG is great news for Japan, Philippines, Taiwan, and South Korea. Chinese air defenses are far cry from their Russian counterpart, and I don't think that Russians will share the A 135 anytime soon, and that means a few years more of peace, so to speak. Thanks for watching. Share like and subscribe for more interesting news. Take care and see you next time.